This is my newest air cannon. While I was cleaning up in the shop, I ran across an old box from years ago that had a bunch of solenoid-operated valves of various sizes in it, as well as a bunch of QEVs that I haven't gotten to yet. But I did make up this little air cannon with a 120-volt solenoid-operated valve. It's a uh, half-inch valve. Right now I have a breech-loading caliber 565 barrel that I use with various of my other air cannons. Interchangeable barrels are good. The air reservoir is a thick-walled aluminum extrusion. It's 2 inches by 14 inches. Here's a close-up of the valve. Again, it's 120 volt operated. And I have a switch here for firing. This is an overview of my quick test setup for today. The fridge compressor can be seen at the left. The air cannon, of course, just to its right. Cannon is aimed forward along the workbench over the chronograph. The backstop is a large bundle of rags wrapped up in another rag. I found this backstop to be very successful at decelerating and cushioning the lead slug so that it's undamaged and can be recovered from the rags and fired again. Well, let's load up for a test shot. Open the breech. Put in the 360 grain cast hard alloy lead slug. Close the breech. We're ready to fire, just have to pressurize and change camera angles here. Okay, I've moved the camera and we're pressurizing for a test shot at 300 PSI. Two hundred and fifty, two hundred and seventy-five, three hundred, and fire. Well, here's the rag bundle removed. Let's see if we can uh, find the slug. Should be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. One recovered lead slug, undamaged. The backstop worked well, that 360 grain slug on that shot had 446.8 feet per second on the chronograph, which gives a uh, impact energy of around uh, 160 foot-pounds. That's a little more than a 22 LR, and uh, the rag backstop handled it no problem. This time the test shot will be at 350 PSI. We're there, 360 grain lead slug, and fire! Here's another quick look at that electrically activated valve and the firing switch. Well, here's a last overview of my little test area for today, uh, looking down from the operator's position. The valve on this cannon self-closes quickly, 
so it could be used for a semi or even full automatic uh, launcher of, say, airsoft BBs, or something like that. I do have a uh, six millimeter barrel for it, so I may do that mod sometime and make a semi or even full auto uh, airsoft launcher out of it just for fun. To do this, I would need to make a little electronic driver circuit for the solenoid so that it could be triggered by pulses. But this isn't hard to do, and probably one of these evenings I'll make such a circuit and then make another video. That's all for today on the electric air cannon. Thanks for watching, and there'll be more soon.